Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, today I have my friend, my dear, dear friend, Ilham, whom I met at, when I wor worked at the Arab American National Museum. So it's been a while. How long has it been, Ilham? Uh, probably since 2007 or eight or nine, something like that. Yeah, so wow. Approximately, yeah. That's quite a long time. And I Glad really have you here. Thank you, uh, because without you, uh, uh, you gave me an opportunity to exhibit at the museum. I was part of a group exhibit. I'm eternally grateful to you. You are a wonderful friend. Thank you, Susan. Thank you very much. And on that, you also advised me if I could uh, donate artwork to the museum, and I did donate. Uh, the, the 13 uh, modern calligraphy um, mixed media, uh, the word peace. I so remember that piece. Very grateful to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me and for allowing me to have this conversation with you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to see you. I wish I was able to come to your home. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Maybe next That's time. True. Maybe next time. Yes, of course. Always welcome. Thank you for having me. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became an artist? How, what was your journey like? Where did you start and how did you figure out that this is what you wanted to do? Okay, I really, uh, when I, I'm born in Damascus, Syria, and since I was little, I always loved uh, drawing and painting and mixed media, stuff like that. And I was fortunate, uh, uh, you know, like uh, I had a cousin also, he helped me in uh, doing art. So I was always into art and music. So from uh, early childhood, I knew this is my path. So uh, when I came to the United States, I was fortunate enough uh, to go to uh, Eastern Michigan University and uh, get my degree in Bachelor of Fine Art, uh, like. Uh, major in ceramic and uh, minor in art history and also ceramic and painting I did. Uh, but the person who really encouraged me to go to Eastern or to pursue an art, it was uh, from my teacher, his name is Robert Pippenberg, and he was uh, my teacher for ceramic at OCC in Orchard Ridge campus. And he was extremely, extremely encouraging and knowledgeable. And he helped each student to develop their own style. And I'm eternally grateful for that wonderful man. So from that, I got inspired because he was always positive, positive with everyone. So I continued my education and I went to Eastern and I graduated. And right now I work in... Uh, uh, my studio for years I've been teaching uh, ceramic and painting and mixed media uh, I, I did teach at Pontiac Art Center mm -hmm. and I did teach at Birmingham Bloomfield Art Association and I have a some children who has autism they come to my home I teach them art for you know for mm -hmm. the past 20 years mm -hmm. uh, but that's free that's for giving uh, back you know yes. that's what I do um, and I exhibit and I won several awards and uh, I have over 13 uh, solo exhibits in uh, Michigan and I participated over 130 group exhibit nationally and internationally. Nice. Was and it difficult to uh, pursue art when you were in Syria or were you not yet thinking about it as a career? Well, in Syria, you know, it is um, back home, they don't in, encourage the art. They look at, down on it. It's not like a, something to, uh, to proceed, especially in my time. Right now, it changed. But that was my passion. And I remember my dad, he said, you could study anything you want. I said, yeah, but my passion is in art and music. So please allow me to choose what, you know, do what I love. Yeah. Yeah. I totally understand that. Um, my parents encouraged me, but it was difficult to go and get the degree, I'll have to admit. <laughs> well, we struggled because yeah. it's not easy because uh, 
uh, for me, it also like I was I I was married. I have two kids. I used mm-hmm. to drive them to school, go by to college, pick them up, cook and study. Yeah, it's hard. It wasn't yeah. some easy life. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. But yeah. uh, you're uh, you're an accomplished artist. Well, you're thank you. Are, so do you. So you are, are, you are my inspiration. <laughs> oh no, you're my inspiration. That's so kind. I'm thank really you. humbled you say that. <laughs> yes, you are my inspiration. You have the PhD. You achieved more than I did. So I, I salute you. It's not the quantity, it's the quality. <laughs> you have a great quality, but a great artist. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what kind of art would you describe your art to be? What kind? Okay. Of- uh, like I said, you know, I was influenced by uh, Mr. Robert Pippenberg. Mm-hmm. And he takes uh, his art into a, a different level from function to a uh, to be a, more if uh, decorative or assertive in ceramic, but actually into abstraction. So uh-huh. whatever clay he used to do, it, uh, he will take it apart and make it like a new form, a new design. Mm-hmm. But that's what I inspired by. Yes. Yes. So I also studied with uh, Mark uh, Michael Zaratka, and he was from New York, and uh, uh, Mr. Barry Avedan. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, they were, uh, you know, very contemporary artists, and, and inf- uh, influenced by their t- teaching uh, into abstraction. Of course, I studied the classical uh, drawing and painting, uh, but it wasn't. I didn't find myself in it. So I continued with the route for uh, abstraction and the new things to develop it. So I worked on that. I work in uh, acrylic and oil, watercolor, mixed media, installation. So the, uh, finally now I'm developing a new uh, uh, canvas. So I'm going, like they say, out of the box, uh, thinking out of the box and yeah. trying to form uh, my own shaped canvas in a different uh, shapes and do some abstract art. So that's my newest things I'm, okay. I'm working on. Mm. I love your work. Thank um, you. Can you describe your process when you're making art? Can you just describe like what happens in your mind around you? How do you come up with the concepts? Okay. Maybe like uh, just pick one piece if you'd like and just describe how that comes about. Like okay. from the start to the finish. Okay, like, like I'll tell you, like uh, because of the war in Syria and the violence, and I was affected tremendously by that. So I did some artwork uh, about the people who are suffering and they are just like, you know, like they don't know what, what's, how it's going to change. I did some about the refugees who are uh, got killed, uh, you know, in the accident, in the boats, in the sea, uh, stuff like that, who are trying to flee to a better life. So I, what I do with my work is I'm affected by uh, the reality that surrounds me. So what happens, I get emotional and I reflect either on canvas or on clay what, uh, what my emotions are and that's how i start i don't pre-plan things i just go with the mood i'm in because i find it 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 uh, some way it touches the subconscious and it, it comes out really truthfully you mm-hmm. know i like to do things like that yeah, yeah. yeah. some people like i remember when uh, i was a student the teacher she used to say uh, you cannot make your pieces till you draw you sketch and I couldn't do that. What I do, I do my work. So I used to do my work and then I sketch what I made because I don't function like that. Each person functions differently. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. For You're welcome. That. Yeah. Um, can we see some samples? Do you have some around? Okay. Sure. Yeah, I will show you. And this is my studio. I don't know if you could see it. Yes. Oh wow! Look at that. I need to I have to see the. Oh, God. It's more of a. Um, it's not just a studio. It's where you store all your art. Right. Oh, and this is nice. this is about the people of Syria because they're 
in shock, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I'm going to show you here the boat, refugees boat. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. And some of these about the refugees, they're escaping. So something like that I've been doing. So you've made the sculptures as well? Yes. Oh, wow. Do you carve these? Yes. Wow, Ilham, I didn't know you had sculptures. Oh, yeah. And this is my new work. See, it's shaped canvas. Yes. I shape it, I build it, and I stretch it. See? Yeah, now you're inspiring me to get back into sculpting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I wanted the painting to come out in a different, yeah. not like I used to the same uh, things. See, that, like this is regular. Uh, now, how oh, this is. So, how many paintings have you made to date? Two. How many paintings have you? There's this one. Oh wow, you're breaking up. I think you might have moved from the road. I can't hear you. Can you see it? Yes, yes, I can see it. You what might want to go back to where you were standing. It's breaking up, Ilham. And there is this one here. Oh, there we go, yes. Nice. Where can people find more about you? Do you have a website or somewhere where people yes, I can do find have work? a website? Yes, I do have a website. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Ilham, uh, mm -hmm. artist .com. Okay. And do you have any upcoming shows? This is also I've done like a new experiment. This is about the war in Syria here too. Yes. Black and see even the bird, the peace is not no more peace. <laughs> and peace more of stuff I make also with acrylic and some mixed media. Yes. Um so who's your favorite artist these days? These days? Are you following anyone specifically or not really? Because I tend to do that from time to time. <laughs> Actually, really, I like any um, modern things that are coming up, like any new technique, mm -hmm. uh, any new ideas. I look into these things, more innovative. Mm -hmm. So I want to uh, you know, improve myself and get a little bit of... Uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, like move forward instead of just, yeah. you know, doing the same thing. Yeah, it's so, nice to, to try different things. Yeah, sure. and this is like experimentation for me, and that's why I like to do, uh, yeah. you know. Pre yeah. So, so your all your work is for sale, yes? If yes. people would like to get some of your work, they can just contact you through the website? Either through the website or they could... Uh, Write me an email. It's okay. ilham.art at gmail.com. Uh, ilham.art at, ilham at gmail.com. Okay. All right. Great. Do you have any upcoming shows? Uh, we have a, like a group exhibit mm -hmm. in, uh, in March in, uh, at uh, Pontiac Art Center. It's going to be the Arab American art exhibit and it's going to be the reception on March 21st, 2020 from six to eight, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. That's in Pontiac art center. I'm and sure. then hopefully more exhibits will come. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. about that. And you are going to participate too with us. I hope. Yes, I am. Yeah. Um, and also I want to show you, I did a, this is my book. Oh, it's beautiful. Whispers from the East. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's my first book I published, which is I'm really happy I've done it because I always wanted to leave something. So there is some kind of verses and essays nice. and yeah, stuff like that. So finally, you, I the, You wrote those? The, the yes. essays? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I did. I want that book. <laughs> of course, I'll give you a copy of this book. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thank yeah. you. 
You're welcome. Um, so if you were to be born again, what would you want to be? Would you still want to be an artist? Always. <laughs> always. Artists always say they still want to come back as artists. I agree. I agree. Because <laughs> and, you know what? It's yeah. the most uh, pleasurable, beautiful, uh, therapeutic career. How yeah. could you go wrong with that? True. So the only thing where they say starving artist, that I agree. So we cannot depend on the art to generate income, but you know, it's part of your breathing and being your, yourself. Yeah. So you cannot stop yeah. it. It's you being know? your authentic self and you just yeah. have to do so it. You have to, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just like when you breathe and you function. So like that was art for us. Yeah, I tried to hide from that for the longest time I could. I still hide <laughs> from it till this day, believe it or not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so um, if you were to choose a superpower, what would that be? Love. Oh, I can see that in you, Ilham. Yeah. It's been because so loving ever just... since I met you. <laughs> Thank you. You too. You too. You are a, you are a very loving and caring person. Thank you, uh, Susie. I, I'm really, I'm, I'm so lucky uh, to have met you, and we are friends. That's a blessing in my life. Thank you. You're a blessing to me too. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to ask you one last question before we have to wrap up because Zoom won't let me go over 40 minutes at this point. Okay. So, any advice that you can give to the young and rising artists these days, people who yes. are starting their path in art? Any advice? Yes, uh, all what I will advise them to try, 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 try and do their art. Never ever give uh, their hope up. Always be optimistic. Eliminate any negative people around you. Uh, replace them with positive people and always move forward. Anything, if God close one door for you, that means it would have been harmed you. So God closed it for your protection. But in the same time, when God closed one door, he opened 99 doors. So don't sit and, and get depressed over that uh, door. Look at the 99 doors, which is open, and move forward. Thank you, Elham. That was lovely. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank Love you very you so much. much. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you for having me. Have a beautiful evening. So we'll be in touch. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.